All right, hello again, everybody. Time for another Gizmosphere project. What I'd like to show you today is uh, how to turn your gizmo into a media player that you can then uh, use to view your media on your television or your entertainment center, whatever you've got in your living room. If you're like my family, we've accumulated, I don't know, several hundred DVDs over the years and just have them all over the place. And I decided that it's time to clean things up a little bit. And uh, I spent a lot of the holidays ripping the, the DVDs onto a network storage device. So I, I purchased a two terabyte network drive. They're available from Amazon, or you could probably get them at Best Buy or Office Depot or any of those places. Two terabyte drive runs about $130. You can get a three terabyte or a four terabyte. I think they go all the way up to eight nowadays. And you're still talking only a couple hundred dollars at most. So I bought one of these things, I plugged it into my network, and I used a program called DVD Fab. I used it for just copying my DVD discs. It would unencrypt them and then uh, load them onto my uh, network drive. And it, it worked pretty well. It took about uh, 25 minutes per disc or so. I ended up with just uh, about a, close to 200 discs stored on my uh, terabyte drive, and I still have some room left for, for more. But anyway, in order to create a mount point in Ubuntu or any other Linux, um, the way that's done is we're just going to create a directory. And where I put mine is in the slash media folder. So to, to create a, a directory, I did a sudo uh, maker slash media. And I called mine media library because that's what I'm going to mount there. If you execute that command, you'll end up with a, an empty directory in the slash media. So if I look over in slash media, I've already done this, so I'm just showing you what I've done here. Um, you can see I've got my media library sitting there. Now, in order to populate this uh, mount point with the contents of the networked file system, network drive, we need to edit the file system table I have to type my password in here every time you do a sudo. Um, okay, so the file system table is just a listing of all of the physical drives and resources that you have and how they are going to be mounted and visible to the Linux system. So in this case, what I've added is this, this final line down here at the bottom so you, i used a I put a comment in there just so i can remember what i was doing later if i ever come back to this file and try to figure out what what's going on um, my media library is on the, the my book live drive that i've got plugged into my network so the way this this uh, file system table is laid out is the first column here is the network address of the share that I want to mount. So my book live has lots of shares or partitions or whatever you want to call them. And I stored all of my video media and my audio media into the public share. And this is the network IP address of where that drive is located. I always set up my drive with a, a static IP address. In this case, you can see it's 192.168.0.202 is my uh, my drive and then the share is the public share okay so that's the first column the second column is where do i want to attach the mount so it's going to be that directory that i have just created the media slash media library and then the file system type is cifs my book live requires a username and password in order to access anything even if it's a, a, in the publicly shared it, it takes a record of who's logging in and accessing so the fourth column here contains the username and the password i set up a username and password of gizmo that way uh, i can have my gizmo board log as gizmo and uh, access all of the publicly shared stuff so username password and then uh, it's read write is the RW that's next, and then uh, the user ID is who is going to be the owner of all the files when they're mounted on that point. And if you want to test it just before without having to reboot, you can do a sudo and then a mount uh, minus a 
and it will go through the file system table and mount everything that it finds there. If you don't get an error message, then everything looks good, and you can now go and look at your um, YouTube directory. So I'm going to look in my media library, and if I do an ls, I should see the contents of what is in my public file on the network drive. So there you can see I have all my shared music, my shared pictures, my shared videos, documents, and so forth. They're all now available to my gizmo board. So at this point, we've got access to our video information that we're looking for. 